Now we're at second and long. Imagine that a first down play that didn't really net many yards. We're going to shuffle play action. And I don't mind this because what does this look like, guys? It looks like the run game they use. This mirrors the run game. Watch how everybody up front plays run. Look at those linebackers. Look at the first level trying to condense what they think a kickout block is going to be. That is an effective play action. Pair that amount of time you have in the backfield with a quarterback finding time to step into a throw, a great route, a return route from Amari where he's settling, uh, sorry, selling across the field on an over and then putting his foot in the ground and coming back out. Then we pair that with a little shallow. We've got a great opportunity to hit a throw here against man coverage. This is exactly what we want and we just can't complete it. This is frustrating beyond words that you can't complete these. Even when everything's clean, everything's good, the scheme works, we miss it. I don't know. You guys tell me, man. <laughs> you guys tell me. Everything's blocked up really well here. Really well. Have to complete it. Even when they get opportunities, they're not completing them. Well, here we go again. Third and long, third and ten. Let's bring in two chip players this is what they do. Can we find an answer? Does the scheme give us anything? Great chip block on the high side. Holy cow, man. What are what are we doing? Look at the back. <laughs> we got, I understand what's going on here. They're in drop coverage. This is cover two. We love this stuff against cover two because this is a high drop to the sticks. High drop, high drop, middle. You're going to clear middle and you're going to try to run the dig. Well, this dig is usually better when you have... Uh, a cover three, uh, a little bit more of a cover three look. But guys, I mean, I don't like why. Why are we bailing? Why? Why are we bailing from this pocket? What says I should run out here, away from everything? There are two guys who can catch a football and run. Boom, boom. We have chances to at least get a f down. This is so open. I don't know what we're doing. Why are we why are we pushing out here and doing this? I don't like what what is ah, I don't know what to say. Just give the damn running back the ball. Like I'm not watching it from this view. What like watch it. Watch Pierre Strong check release. You have no pressure. Nothing making you go crazy. Give him the ball right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now and right now. Like or get up feet like his <laughs> He should, he should be here, and then you have a chance to run up inside of it. Now we're pushing to the sideline, trying to play scramble football. Like, I don't I don't get it. He's he's done this stuff before. <sighs> Next possession. Exit motion, which I like, and then you return him again. This is modern NFL football. This is why... Well, hey, J why does Jake like this fake toss more? Watch what the center does. Watch what the center does. He pulls. That sells it a little bit later. If we were able to pull and sell it without our right guard falling on his rear end, like getting tripped up and falling on his rear end, we have options. Look at the options, man. We've got a tight end pushing up the field. We've got a rail route going up the sideline to Prochet that we could hit. If Tillman, I don't know what the hell Tillman's doing. I think he's like blocking. I don't know. It's a set of Tillman enigma that I constantly have. If Tillman were to somehow maybe be curling it up in this window or even trying to run past somebody, for God's sake, there are options. But again, <laughs> again, watch the right guard as we have these constant problems. Falling on his butt, can't get the throw off, knocked down at the line of scrimmage. All too common theme of the Browns in 2024. One guy getting himself embarrassed and causing the whole entire operation to come undone. Next snap, which is, I believe now, a second down. At this point, I'm losing my mind. Second and 10. All righty, we got two chip tight ends and 12 personnel who are going to let us try to get the football down the field. We get that cover two or cover three with hard bail. Look at the cover three, look hard bail. Four deep, excuse me, three deep, four under. Now we're just trying to find the window, and we do. Hey, that's a football play. That's a 19-yard gain. That's a football play, man. Watch everybody up front. If everyone does their job. Pretty good job by Jed. Pretty good job right there staying on. Pretty good job by the left guard. Pretty good job by the center. Being ready for when the kick, when a return happens, and then we can we can make a throw downfield and we complete it. We complete it. Teams just played zone all the time. The Browns would they'd have a chance. First down now. All right. We're back to 13 personnel, it looks like. We have Njoku and Aikens and Whiteheart at the top of the screen. We're gonna run a little quick release. 
RPO. That's the goal, at least. So we're going to try to sell here. I mean, I don't know. I, I I mean, I'm not sure what the run read is. I guess, I guess if this player is crashing and we're two out over two here and we can throw this to the flat right now, we're doing it. I think that's how they're reading it out. That's why he pulls it. But if this DN stays with the tight end, which he does for a split second, the play is dead. He's got to run it. You can't hold it this long and throw it on an RPO because it's going to get flagged. It's going to get flagged every time. You cannot hold it. So snap, 1-1,000, one, 2-1,000, one, 3-1,000, one, it's too late. You got to have that thing out uh, two or under. It's too late. It's going to get flagged. It's a dead play. I, I get what they're trying to do. I actually kind of like it. But you got, I mean, I don't know. Again, I, I'm going to surmise that the read is the linebacker because if he's reading the end, which it looks like he's reading the end, nothing about what that end does tells him to, to, to throw this football. I don't know. 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 He's pressing outside and tries to rifle. I mean, I don't know if he's trying to spike that because there's no way anybody is catching that football. So your guess, as they say, uh, is as good as mine on that one. First and 15 now. So we get a nice 19 yard gain and then we go in reverse. Kind of the story of the year again, right? Under center, uh, play action. Uh, pretty good. Everything what you want. Cover three by nature. I just, I just want to know. Just want to know. Do we do? Do they have landmarks? Like, does the quarterback know he's climbing to 15 and throttling down? Is that's what that's what he does? He climbs to 15. First and 15. Usually comebacks are tagged 15 to 12. He's coming out of the out of the break right here. This ball should be thrown right now. 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 And just now it's getting thrown. And there's a wait. He's waiting on it. He's waiting on it. He's waiting on it. He's waiting on it. So this is late. Should be ball out. Boom, boom, boom. Right now. It's late. It's it's it's, it's a fr it's a fraction of a second late, and it's not down and away. So again, I'm just going to tell you how I'm co you can you can oh, he's criticizing Watson too much. No, I'm just telling you what quarterback coaches tell their guys. Any comeback throw is down and away. It's before he comes out of the break, the ball needs to be in the air, which it's not. He's he's throttling down. Ball should be in the air. It's not. His eyes are already back on the quarterback, and the football should be down and away on the sideline in a box so that he can drive back to it and have a window to get to this football that's coming down and away. It's not. It's left inside, and it's left higher up. And yeah, Cooper should catch it, but he's getting contact. So you're creating, what you're doing is you're creating more opportunities for shit to go sideways is what happens when you're a little late and the ball's not where it's supposed to be. It's a little more variation for a DB to get their hands on and knock it out. Should Cooper catch it? Yes. He gets a negative grade from the wide receiver coach. Should the quarterback have thrown it sooner and in a better location? Also, yes. You add up all that uh, all that stuff, and that's how a play that should be a 12-yard gain goes sideways. That's just that's the reality of football, man. You create things that make it harder. You can have things go sideways more often now that play happens 10 times cooper maybe catches it seven six seven times but what you're doing is you're creating a window where that sort of stuff can happen ball should be out it's not out now it's out little late little high and the db had a chance to recover and make a play that's it simple as that now we're at third and 15 our favorite time in the world for this offense to be in third and 15 doesn't see doesn't process that we're going to get a middle center, like I, I also have questions. So they're playing a, f a little funky form of cover two with an invert that is different because they're taking, um, they're running a bear front, which is those three. They're, they're, they're trying to kind of confuse you with, are these guys going to blitz? Are they going to bail out? What are they doing? And then they're taking these two, which I like, pumping those guys into those cover two halves and then kind of letting him be a middle read player, which is confusing. And it obviously gets to Watson because he doesn't even see him. But what's amazing to me is like, if we want to go ahead and rip a window shot on the left side, I think the thing you want to do is maybe have this guy be a breaker threat or something like Amari is just stopping and standing. I don't really know. Like, is that route? Are they coaching him to run hit? Like he's just stand, like he's just kind of trotting off the line and standing, I guess. And then that no threat is created and Watson doesn't manipulate and watch his eyes. Like if I'm, you're the middle safety right now in this sense, because you're seeing, I mean, you're obviously lifted up higher, but you're, you're seeing what the safety is seeing and Watson's eyes never really hold you on the right side. Like by the time he's in his second set of his like one, 
And then by the second foot of a three-step drop, he's already got his eyes down the middle of the field, staring the throw down. And that should have been intercepted. So, you know, you got to really still manipulate safeties. But I, I wonder, as we see the quarterbacks viewed, like, does he notice does he notice this player, middle read player, or does he think it's cover three? I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. But I know that this was a definite turnover-worthy play that he is staring down, and you can see here should have been uh, intercepted. Uh, excuse me, because we had a first and 15 on that RPO, so now we're in third down. And this is the this is one of the few just like design plays I hate. I'm not sure if you're conceding this play. Uh, anytime you can run you know, double mirrored slants, this is just dead to me. Like This is never going to create what you want it to create, especially against this bear front with two droppers that they like to, to, to formulate here. And even this is a little different look. They're still doing the three down. They're just, you know, switching these two around. And you're also going to release the back through the middle. Hey, this is <laughs> the only way this play is a decent play is if you're throwing it in this box and you're converging everybody into this box. It's never going to work. So I, I think maybe the conversation between Dorsey and Kevin is like, it's we're at the 30 yard line, 29 yard line. Can we get this down to the 20 and make it an easier kick? I mean, in theory, Watson should just throw in Joku right now. I mean, it's not going to be a great first down play, but like throw it. He's there. It's a one step throw. So you can't, if you're one punch throwing, you're then in the pass rush's teeth, which again, from the right guard and center, this is awful, but you got to get it out. Like throw it right there or it's dead. Like the play is over. Like you can't one punch and not throw because if you one punch, look how short your depth is to the guys in the middle of the pass rush. But again, he's looking at it. He's loaded up. Just throw it. Like, why Why are we not throwing that? Not, not entirely sure. That's another sack that I believe, even though the center and right guard are not good on this play, that ball should be out, and there shouldn't be a sack on the play. There shouldn't be. Um, here's another look at the quarterback's view. His eyes are on David. Throw it. Like, throw it. It's right, it's right there. Throw it. It's not going to get a first down, but you're going to get seven or eight yards, and you're not taking a negative. So now instead of that, 29-yard kicking spot starting, you're starting at the 33 or 34. Makes it worse. Next time out. Well, this looks like run. We don't really put that guy in the backfield to throw it very much. Sure as hell got the safety to creep down. It's cover three, so he's already come down. coming down. Like Also, what is David doing? <sighs> run game design stuff is so bad. Like, what, like, we're moving him in. Is he supposed to be, like, shuffle and then lead on this backer? I mean, we can't really account for late-charging safeties. That's a running back accountability thing. You have to make that guy miss. But we we got to be able to block Bobby Wagner somehow. Like, what are we doing? There's no, there's nobody there. I mean, again, the center's getting spun off of. That's another conversation for another day. But, like, what's David doing? He kind of, like, even just throws his hand up. Like, I don't... <laughs> This is a really uninspired effort from 85 on the day in general. I, I don't I don't really get like does he even know what he's doing? He's outside shuffling or is he supposed to be trying to pull Wagner out of the the play by running a route and selling it and then we're one on one right here? I'm I am not sure. I'm not sure. Dead play. Don't like it. And again, I'm not like I, so we're we're five downing it against a six-man look, and what is telling us to full slide away? I don't know what the indicator are. I've never seen this be so easy to get this manipulated up, to get it out of the quarterback's hands so fast. I don't I don't know what's telling him, even if, again, you three over to it. So you say, we're going to go here, we're going to go, excuse me, guard here, and we're going to here and base it, Right then, the quarterback is throwing off of this, which you can still account for. But then you at least have a center who can turn; his, he can recognize nothing's coming here because he's punching out, and then feel this out, and then you have a chance to pass it all. Like I just don't know. I mean, maybe I'm stupid. Someone out there's maybe smarter than me on protections, but usually you have to have a massive overload on one side, and that's usually again a walked up DB out here. It's like usually a four man side is what tells me I need to sh like full on slide everybody away. And it's like they're getting this opportunity to have a free edge rusher at the quarterback because Dewan, if this is the if it's full slide, the tackle has to take the inside gap. So they had it schemed up. Like they had it schemed up. These are again, those are like dead plays. Swinging the ball into the flat against zone where you have two men in 
bracket position, like those are not going to get much more than a couple yards. Those are dead plays. I don't know what's telling the offensive line here that we need to full slide. Again, I would be here, here. The center is on Reed, right? So it's here and here, and the center is on Reed. He's check. He's checking, right? He's he's working like these three are on process to figure out which one of these four is and is not coming. If they load it up, then that's the quarterback's problem to have. But again, I don't get what's telling us to full slide because if they can just have this guy creeped up and we can get a full slide out of the brown, like every time we come up, they're going to full slide to this. Oh man, like this is perfect. We're going to have a free run. They're going to have no time to throw it every snap because they're going to get the back out. And we got this Sesso B who knows if the back's out, he's mine taking it right away. It's dead. <laughs> it's just, it's dead. I don't understand that in the slightest.